Hey, what's up, guys? Dale Games MC here. The modern format has recently been shaken up with the recent banning of Splinter Twin and Summer Bloom. Before I talk about my opinions on these bans, let me explain why and how often cards are banned. With the release of each new set, Wizards of the Coast adjusts the ban list in each format, either banning or unbanning cards. Why, you may ask? Because if a card is too overpowered, example, the artifact lands making the affinity deck way too overpowered, it will be banned. Wizards of the Coast also states that they don't want a single deck to make up too much of the current metagame in any format. Now let's get to the most recent bannings. The cards that were banned were Summer Bloom, which is a sorcery that for one colorless and one green lets you play up to three additional lands on your turn, and Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin is an enchantment that for two colorless and two red you may enchant a creature. The enchanted creature has tapped it to put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of this creature. That token has haste and to exile it at the beginning of your next end step. With these bannings, most likely comes the deaths of the Amulet Bloom and Splinter Twin deck. There is a chance that, like how the Pod deck became Pod's Pod when the Birthing Pod card was banned, Splinter Twin may morph into the Twinless Twin deck with Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker replacing Splinter Twin. Now, I'm not saying this will happen, but it is a viable possibility. Kiki Jiki, Jiki essentially does the same thing as Splinter Twin, but since it as a creature with power 2, it dies to removal such as Lightning Bolt which the Seaver Exarch would have lived through. Kiki Jiki also have, has a converted mana cost of 5, with 2 colors and triple red, which would be a lot more difficult to cast. So what if Kiki Jiki doesn't prove itself as a good substitute? Most twin decks running blue were turned into a control type deck. Twin was such a popular deck because if you wanted to play blue, blue red twin was most likely the best deck you could buy that ran blue. Disclaimer. I do not know a lot about the Amulet Bloom deck, but so if I make any mistakes, please forgive me. Summer Bloom, combined with the Ravnica Bounce Land, Amulet of Vigor, and the ability to play Primeval Titan, just made for an absurd deck. I think that Summer Bloom was worthy of being banned, because of how ridiculous it was, but I disagree with the banning of Splinterton. Yes, it was a good card, and a good deck, but was it really broken? Wizards of the Coast wants Modern to have no decks that can consistently win on turn 2 or 3. Yes, Twin could win on turn 4, but never on turn 3. And when it did win on turn 4, it wasn't that consistent. A simple Path to Exile, Spell Skite, or even a mere counter spell could have broken this combo. In regards to making the format more diverse, Twin made up for only about 10% of the current modern metagame. How I interpret this was that Wizards of the Coast wanted to shake things up a bit. This banning r reminds a lot of the community, as well as I, of the banning of Birthing Pod. Pod wasn't a broken card or deck, but it was a very, very good card. Back in the day, back in the day meaning a few years back, the three pillars of the modern format were Affinity, also known as Robots, Birthing Pod, and Splinter Twin. Fast forward a few years, and two of the three decks' major cards are now banned. Will Affinity be the next target of the band hammer? Nobody knows. So where did the format go from here? Tron is the best deck in the format, period. We were expecting Tron to become the target of these most recent bands, but that isn't what happened. No offense to any Tron players out there, but I think that dropping a Karn on turn 3 is just absurdly busted. The deck is also not easily interrupted. Your only good options are Ghost Quarter or Tectonic Edge. There aren't any other good cards that can easily interrupt the three Urza lands being assembled on turn 3. If you know of any, please leave them in the comment section of this video because I'm very interested to find out. So, the top 4 decks in the modern format will now become Green Red Tron, Affinity, Burn, and Infect. Green, Green Red Tron being the strongest of the three. What about these new Eldrazi decks, you may say? Since they are so new, I do not know a lot about these decks, but let me say one thing. If this deck becomes the new face of the modern format, it scares me a lot. Until I learn more about this deck, I can't confidently make an accurate comment about these decks and their tiering. I think that a lot of tier 2 decks will emerge, and we'll see how many of them can actually prove their worth. What am I slash will I be playing? Well, I was starting to assemble a blue-red twin deck, but that isn't happening. Right now I have my Soul Sisters deck together, but I'm going to try it a blue-white Merfolk deck and see how that works out in the current meta. I think the lot of aggro strategy will become more prevalent, so I'm thinking of a return of Elves, Goblins, and Merfolk to become a thing in the upcoming modern season. So, this is what I think about the most recent modern bandings. Please tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video, it really helps me a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.